Hey guys, here's a video about the uh, batteries that I've been using lately. Um, up top you have a Nunchuck 2000 Ma 7.4 volt LiPo battery, uh, 2 cell obviously, um, since it's 7.4 volt. It acts very similarly to a 9.6 volt uh, nickel metal hydride, but um, I prefer the LiPos and I'll explain that, uh, the reasoning behind that in a little bit. Um, this video is specifically in response to Hobby Premier's uh, what batteries to use in an airsoft gun. Um, I told him I'd probably post up a video just in response, so that's what I'm doing here. Um, down at the bottom, I have my stick type battery, um, just a single stick, but it's still 2 cell, 7.4 volt, um, 1400 mAh. Now, the reason I've completely switched over to LiPo batteries is uh, for several reasons. One, they're cheap. Two, they hold a charge for about a month. Um, I charged mine up about six weeks ago and then plugged them into the wall to top them off before a game last weekend and they were charged within 10 minutes. Um, so that they hold a charge very well. Um, 2000 Ma, I went through a whole op, so six to eight hours. Um, it was a smaller op, but about eight hours on a single battery um, and, and really didn't even make a dent in the power um, the reason I really like them though is because of the rate of fire they provide. Now most people will try to get an 11-1 LiPo uh, and then just crank out rounds per second as fast as they can. Now that can damage your gearbox um, depending on which one you have and, and how it's built and all that. Anyway, I had one for in my KWA but the, the burst for the KWA is supposed to be 15C. Uh, these batteries are uh, 15 uh, nominal and then 25C burst. Um, I won't go into the electronics there, uh, the electrical. But um, basically what it did was it, it stripped some gears and uh, in the end the gun just stopped working. So now, end of the story, I just run 7.4 volt LiPos now. It's plenty uh, rounds per second. I get about 24 to 25, somewhere around there. And... Um, so anyway, the other thing is, uh, you don't get a, a sloping power draw, meaning at the beginning of the day your rate of fire is 20 rounds per second. At the end of the day, as it's draining down, you slowly go from 20 to 18 to 14 rounds per second. Um, the light post stays strong all day, so if you start with 24, you end with 24 rounds per second. Uh, the thing is, the difference, um, the reason I don't suggest these for newer players is because the way you manage them, if you completely kill the battery, you've uh, ended its life. It has no more usefulness. You have to stop uh, using these batteries before they reach their drainage stage. So if you hear your lipos start to, to wind down a little bit, your rate of fire drops for, for a couple bursts, just pull the battery out put in a new one because that means it's almost completely dead and if you kill the battery it's done. So that's the downside to them. Um, and then one last thing, the reason I like the LiPos is um, not only are they small, uh, this is for my AK-47 and this is for my SR-10, um, just fits in the buttstock. Um, they, so they fit in a lot of different places. These batteries fit in G36Cs, G36Ks, AK-47s, uh, M4s, CQRs, SR-10s. Um, and then the last thing is during cold weather, there's no no effect on them whatsoever. So uh, we, we train in 40 degree weather a lot and uh, one of the times we went out, a lot of the nickel metal hydride 9.6 volt guys, uh, their batteries just completely died and would not function until they warmed up. Uh, we had no issues and we played all day. So that being said, that's my case for the LiPo batteries. Uh, it's not for everybody. But if you kind of want to step it up to the next level and then uh, you know you're confident in managing them, then I would go ahead and say switch over to these. They're like 20 bucks a piece, if that. Um, and I'll probably be selling these in the future if uh, you don't see them in any of my stores. I also sell them at FBT Creations on eBay. Um, that's my other company. So, uh, that being said, thanks for watching this video and I hope it was helpful.